Hey, Joe, welcome to the Red Stars' this pre-match press conference. We have Ava Cook and Coach Petroselli with us. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. If you watch the games this morning, I'm sure you've been up really early. So appreciate you being yeah. here. Um, Good morning, y'all. I appreciate you doing this for me. I feel very special. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Admittedly, uh, I tried to get up and fell asleep about five minutes after. Uh, I don't know how all of y'all did that, but uh, kudos if you could pull it off. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Seriously, thank you always for the time. Uh, I don't deserve this. So, uh, Chris, can I start with you? Uh, first off, uh, what has been the message over the last week is uh, the team looks to reset and try to start this second half-ish of the season on a positive note on the road? Yeah, just keep getting better. Like, you know, using every day in training, every opportunity, every one of these matches that are coming up to to try to get a little bit better every day. And in terms of handling uh, Louisville again the third time, we've talked about, you know, getting passes forward. Uh, what have been some ideas that you guys have been focusing on maybe in training to be more efficient, especially maybe in the final third when you can get the ball there? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, our focus has been on us more than, than on yep. Louisville. Uh, but we are we're tweaking a little bit, you know, um, our shape a little bit as we move forward and, and trying to get maybe some numbers forward a little bit more, you know, when when we have the ball. So that is is something that we have looked at. And uh, will Allie be available this weekend? No, no, Allie. OK, thank you. And Ava, if I may now start with you. Uh, thank you, as always. Uh, year two of your NWSL career. What are you? Uh, what have you learned about yourself in these uh, last kind of year and a half in terms of being a professional athlete and uh, improving daily? That's the focus here. Yeah, I mean, there's like a lot I have learned about myself. Um, it's so much different than obviously anything you've done in the past I've done in the past um but even though it's different it's a good different like you're I'm constantly surrounded by like the best players in the world you know so because of that it um it's like inspiring to want to get better every day you know they work their butts off all the time it makes me want to work my butt off all the time um and it's like it's shown that I actually can do it you know, like I've gotten better. I've worked on things, um, the whole nine yards. So it's like, it's, it's exciting because the fact that I get the opportunity to come every day and work on bettering myself is one that I'm super thankful for. And to be surrounded by the people I get to be surrounded by and do that is like a dream. So it's been great. Year two has been good so far. Do you ever think you'd be this happy in a professional circumstance? There's a level of pressure that's I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of pressure. Um, but I think that if you are someone who has made it to this point, that means that you're comfortable with large amounts of pressure, even though in the moment it, you may feel uncomfortable, but it kind of keeps you coming back. Um, it's a weird thing. Like, you know, you, you don't think you'd want to be put in uncomfortable situations and have that much pressure, but, um, for me personally, like it pushes me more. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's a good thing. Like I'm super happy. So. And just in terms of you on the field, what's it going to take for you to score a little bit more consistently? The shots are becoming uh, more consistent. The uh, positioning moving up the field is becoming more consistent. What's it just going to take to get that final little thing to get the ball in the net? Oh yeah. It's, it's a lot of moving parts. Um, something I've definitely been working on though, for sure. You know, just like having conversations, um, for me, like a big part of it is learning. And the more I play with like my teammates, you know, the more I understand them and then the more I can, um, like do what I need to do based on what they're doing. So, um, it's just a lot of things to put together, but I, you know, I think I can do it. Like I, I'm going out there and I'm going to, I'm going to try my hardest and, put those pieces together. Um, you know, and if I'm not scoring, hopefully I can set someone else up to score stuff like that. So, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you both. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, I hope Taylor's okay. Cause I know she was up overnight. <laughs> I'm, I'm awake. Sorry. I'm a little late. 
All good, Taylor. Uh, do you have any questions for either Chris or Ava? Um, I was wondering, um, what kind of challenges do you think that racing Louisville is going to be presenting? Well, you know, the, they're missing obviously a good number of players, but they still have some very, very good players in, in their team. And uh, I think that uh, they've shown all year long that they're explosive okay. going forward. Um, you know, this Jalen has dominated midfield in, in many matches. Um, they've been pretty good in the back and, and uh, you know, most of that back force is still there. So um, I think it's a pretty good team that they'll put out. And then um, I didn't, I'm not sure what Joe already asked you. Sorry. Um, so if this is repetitive, you can say you already answered and I'll just look at whatever you answered the first time. Um, how was kind of the seven day break for you and kind of um, what did you do with it? Um, they don't care about, me, <laughs> about what you did. Maybe, maybe <laughs> um, the seven break, the seven day break was good. Um, I think it was really important for us all as a team firstly, to have a big win before going into the seven day break. Um, I think any team wants to have momentum going into a longer period of like rest time. Um, so for us, I know that was something that we were very excited about and it definitely makes break a little more enjoyable to know that we just had a win. Um, my break was great. You know, it was just a time for me to see family and friends um, and kind of take a little little mental break from soccer and just reconnect with um, those important people. And then, you know, it kind of flew by and we're back and I'm excited to be back and be in Louisville. And then coach, how has the, the squad looked this week and kind of what has your focus been kind of getting them back into that soccer mindset? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because you you know, you bring in a bunch of people back and you're not quite sure what they've done over that over that time period and I, there's probably a whole range of things to mm -hmm. you know working out every day and, and training every day to laying on the beach every day so um you know getting them all back and first just sort of back into the team environment and then you know moving and and playing and trying to knock the rust off and and all of that is is going on i, I would think that you know Many of the games this week, you'll still see a little bit of rust um, from the week off. And, you know, just you're going to take a, a game or two to get played back in. And then um, did you, Coach, actually take a break? I know that there was – I've kind of talked to a couple. Casey Stoney was like, I'm not taking any days. The players can, but I'm not. And then Laura Harvey was on the beach in L.A., so. Um, I did uh, spend a little time um, away. Uh, which was nice, but I was very connected to my phone and, you know, we're in an, an active time period in the league. So I think we all still have, have some things to do. Okay. Thank you. So, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks. Um, thanks. thanks, everybody. And hope you guys get some rest. I'll send a recording out shortly. Bye.